Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a new game on the channel. Uh, this is Coffee Talk, Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. So, uh, in 2020 they released Coffee Talk, which was Episode 1. Uh, truthfully, I never played it, but they did uh, get in touch with me and offer me a key, Steam key, to play uh, the second episode here, which is out today, April 20th. So I said, yeah, that's great. I, I played the demo, a um, little that sort of visual novel I've included on the channel before and uh, provided the voices for, which I'll be intending to do again today. Um, let's get started. Let's start a new profile. That was just to set up some settings. We're going to call ourselves Boring Dad, obviously. Yes. We're going to play the game. So the, the idea here is that we're operating a, a inner city. Well, not inner city, but I think it's supposed to be a bit like Seattle, Chicago sort of stuff. But um, yeah, we're for a, a coffee shop that's kind of open late at night. People come in. They kind of we kind of get involved in their stories while serving them drinks, um, and it's it's just a bit of a chill time, I think. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Let's get started. Seattle, 2023. It is Seattle. <laughs> a city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is re-evaluating what it means to be alive. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. So the idea here as well is that um, we, th there are different sort of fantasy races that exist in this world. We're going to see elves and satyrs and all that sort of stuff. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. And the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. And that's where we come in, I guess. And, sorry, as some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In a night-blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of a warm drink. And these are their stories. So here we are. Our shop actually is called Coffee Talk. Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. The Evening Whispers. It's a free newspaper that is delivered to our coffee shop, I think. So just look at the headlines. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? You see some uh, orcs there, I think. Seattle West Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Ooh, click on the coffee. Here we go, this is our little shop. Mm, I guess this will go on for a while. I think we're talking about the storm. Officer Georgie, welcome. Evening, boring dad. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say. The power lines? Probably. Yeah? What about them? Oh. That's a concern. The power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. No, oh, that bad, eh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I don't think we can really click on... Oh, blah. <laughs> I was trying to click on stuff to see if I could activate it and I missed some dialogue. But that's okay, because I think we can recall it. Um, I guess our resident writer, Miss Greenhead Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she changed her hair colour, then my bad. <laughs> uh, it's still the same. 
She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? Uh, she's currently on a research trip for her new book. Oh, that's so. At least that's what she told me. I guess maybe she was a character in the first one, but I don't think she comes around in this one. Oh, that's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. To have some time to herself. Ugh. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah. Well, I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'd monitor the area just in case. No, don't worry, boring dead. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you needed to light up for longer than ten seconds. <laughs> then you're on your own. Ah, well. It's the thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry flashlights around, anyway? No, oh, we do. <laughs> but where's the thrill in that? Uh, sounds like you need a vacation, too. Do I ever? Someone else coming in? Oh, I don't know. Goodness, finally! Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Oh, our coffee machine's back online. Great. And I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh? No midnight patrol, then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case... Oh, so this is me. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selection instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The colour is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, Boring Dad. No judgement here, just saying. Uh, alternative what? Uh, oh, it's pea, as in pea pods. Oh! And not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it, whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all this info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember, then. Speaking of remembering, Freya actually left me something for you. That's so? All right. Then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. I just keep it simple. Okay, so here's where we make drinks. So this is our uh, blue pea, hibiscus, or just tea. We have to choose a base first. Uh, if you look down at the bottom on this thing, it kind of tells you what the flavors like. So this coffee is somewhat warm, somewhat bitter. Uh, green tea, slightly less warm, but more bitter. Tea, warmer, quite cool <laughs> as well, and reasonably bitter. This hibis uh, blue pea is warm, cool, sweet, and bitter. And hibiscus, cool, sweet, and bitter. Well, I'm going to go with the blue pea. Let's try the new stuff. Doesn't want milk, as we've said. Oh, we can see that it changes the uh, the sort of stuff there, but we're not going to do that. We're going um, to... Well, let's just have more blue pea. And then maybe we'll sweeten it with a bit of cinnamon. How about that? What's this info? Okay. Brew. Cinnamon blue pea. Better give Freya stuff to offer Sir Georgie now before I forget. Yeah, we can give him this. Uh, can I inspect it? Maybe I have to do it here. Nope. <laughs> Proceed. Maybe we're not allowed to read his postcard. Maybe he'll read it to us anyway. Uh, give item. Oh, it's back there. Uh, yes, server. Oh, a postcard, eh? Is she bragging at me or something? Oh, hmm. Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome, and I will. 
All right, here you go. Wow, is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you it is completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with your boring dad. Let's look at our phone then. I think we can do that at the same time. Uh, so we have something called Toma de Chill. I think this is like a social networking thing. Uh, so we can see our list of friends. We've got Officer Georgie. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this friends only, friends only, close friends only means. If I'm honest. Maybe that will get explained. Uh, stories. So I guess this is like Insta or something. Uh, you can click on them. I woke up so refreshed today, I think it's going to be a good day. That's Rachel. I'm not going to read all of these, because there is a lot of them. Uh, Iced Baileys, Georgie Williams. The Chief said that these days, youngsters read and listen to infos and advice more seriously in this format. So here I am, kiddos. <laughs> okay. Hey, can we like it? Oh, we can. <laughs> we can like his post. That's quite cool. Uh, oh, so this is Freya. So yeah, I think I mean I've I've seen the um, sort of cover art for the first game, and I'm pretty sure she's she's a character in that Freya. Uh, it's cool. Two hours delay, not a problem. We can like it too. Cool. So that's that's our sort of Insta thing. If I do that, we go back to the main page. Brew pad. So this is recipes, I think. So we can unlock these as we discover them. So we know what a cafe latte is, a cappuccino, dark chocolate espresso, green tea latte, matcha. But there's a lot more to discover, and you know we're going to be asked to um, sort of make this stuff and experiment a bit and try and find out what it all is. That's cool. Uh, we've got news stories, um, but it sounds like that's not active yet. That particular one and shuffled for music. I'm assuming we can change the background music with this. Subtle variations, I'd say. Let's leave this one for now. There we go. It's surprisingly mild, huh? Uh, usually people put lemon in it, but it'd change colour too. Probably go green. Really? Yep. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. Oh, it's fine. I remember my younger showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something to lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drank it all, though. Yeah, that's her dad. Nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, hmm, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. Oh, what a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out that for some reason or other, she's been neglecting her studies. So, let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? Yeah, it was a disaster. Oh. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Oh, sorry to hear that. Anyway. The missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Uh, because of the storm? That and my car's busted. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. Uh, what? How come? Oh, it just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. There's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy, though. We're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. Oh, you can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy! I think it's supposed to be holy. By Zeus, what a disaster! 
Uh, welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Thunderstorms, obviously. Touché. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about the water bill or something. I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Boring Dad. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome! Nice to meet you, Pops. Uh, can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet! Spoon's going? Uh-oh. Mrs. is calling. Ah. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya! So, Lucas. So, so, can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Oh, maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me you're the pro. Um... Okay, okay, hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. Uh, what's it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? No, but isn't that just green tea? Well, yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure! Then one matcha for me, please. Okay, so matcha. We actually have the recipe for this here. Let's get into the habit of looking these up. But I think it's green tea, green tea, milk. Um, green tea, green tea. Oh, green tea. The ceremonial grade of this pure and lush green tea has a distinct bittersweet and stabilizing aroma. I see he adds milk, but he misses having just coffee. So this is... Okay, cool. So three green teas. There we go. You can see it's incredibly bitter and pretty warm. So I guess we brew that. Seems pretty good. Serve it. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Mmm. -hmm. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. Tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. Uh, I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. Why wouldn't I? Uh, some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact that I'm really not. Anyway, looking forward to some of your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So, has anyone ever come here? Uh, what do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late? That makes sense. What time do you guys close, anyway? Uh, we're open until morning. For real? <laughs> That's pretty heckin' late. Did you turn into a secret bar after, like, 2 a.m. or something? Yeah, if we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Uh, not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. He took the phone. Uh, sorry, he took the photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh, I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomodachil, Chill, right? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. 
Better check it daily though, because the stories only last a day. All right, let's have a look. So he said he reckons he's posted about us. There he is. All right, he's already <laughs> like two minutes ago. He's got nine and a half thousand likes. I think he's an influencer. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info info on your customers there. That's a bit. Um, hey, I'm just saying. People will post anything. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Uh, but I'm curious. What do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right. I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? <laughs> do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Oh, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help me keep on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes, whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything all right? Uh, kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? I've been calling him while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. Oh, there were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? He's got one of these little old flip phones. The only ordering I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. Touché. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Whoa! I retract my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, Boring Dad? Uh, a tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm gonna check on something though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah, everything's peachy. <laughs> I just, uh... <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you scared of the dark, kid? Duh. You never know what might jump out at you. Uh, but we're in a room. Still, don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh. Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Oh, there's someone sitting over on their left. Uh, holy fu- Whoa! Uh, hi? Right, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work? Well, if you have no particular drink in mind, what if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte? Hmm. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Right, we'll look that up. Uh, so what a latte normal is coffee milk milk. So why don't we try doing blue pea milk milk like that. I failed, I failed this one in the demo. She was not happy. Right, and she wants art, so we're gonna try some art. So we pour milk. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, I guess first of all we should pour the milk. I'll 
just like a blob in the middle maybe my palette <laughs> as it were how's that oh, it's all kind of drifting down okay oh more milk okay now we're gonna etch oh god I'm so I'm not an artist at all let's just <laughs> oh dear, this isn't going well. Let's tr let's 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 abandon smiley face. Oh no, what's invert? Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna just oh no. I probably poured too much milk in it. <laughs> let's reset. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's try a little bit like that. Is that good? I have no idea. I'm so I'm I'm not an artist at all, as you could probably tell. But I think it looks a bit pretty. Done. She's probably going to be fine with that. Serve it. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. It's, uh, it's blue. Yes, but rest assured it is all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? That's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yeah, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now, can we just wait until the storm's over? Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to flooding also. Well, darn. So basically you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so. At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. Now what's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> well, I just didn't want to alarm you, boring dad. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector? Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repeaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Maybe because there was no real damage done other than wasting my time. Though my co co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving away due to the tax hikes, so there are protests happening, which means tensions are high all round. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Don't I know it? Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV, so I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. Uh, what's with... With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> if I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. <laughs> Harsh! But I'm serious, prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh yeah! It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money too if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more and more money. Lay it, lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. <laughs> Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. Because really all you need to get started is a camera, phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh, no, oh no, my manager would kill me. Uh, joking. Anyhow, a high-risk, high-reward opportunity with a low-entry barrier. 
Sounds like something else. Oh yeah! Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been waiting to change the... Sorry, been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining for one. Why? Not enough pranks? <laughs> Harsh! Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet they get bored easily too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I wasn't able to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Did you, do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred. Still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Not so easy. So my belief is if you can't fight them, join them. Uh, then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. Oh, you don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find people's conduct there very loathsome. Oh, that's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. In preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Oh, right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day, my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. Oh, what did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was... a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of uh, strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were... a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Now what's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. Oh, that's real effed up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. Uh, you know the type. Huh. Yeah, like even a satyr has got added pretty late into the game too, you know. Oh, but shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from 
The likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now, your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chell? Uh-oh. Do I look... Chell? Uh-oh. Bloody... But how can you be... Chell? When such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that? Whoa! Huh? Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what did they fail when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from others' suffering? The audacity? I can't. I can't! They see the anonymity of talking through screens. Has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Damn it, not again. Just a second, please. Okay. Ah, thank goodness. Hmm? He's <laughs> sitting over here now. <laughs> It's just not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit, I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Look. I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kid. Slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. <laughs> no, Pops. Not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. That's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. So this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, I'm sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. A story. A story? Yeah. Imagine a banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage, pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all the expectations away by putting you on stage. What stage? And how? I don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. Why are you talking? What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the charts to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not, no way! But ouch, that kind of hurts a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude, but I don't know you. And you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said when you don't even know my name? Well, 
if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey. I don't know where you were going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, crap. Hey, look, I'm so... The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, uh, thank you for coming, Miss... Um, Riona. Miss Riona. Uh, we hope to see you again. <laughs> Our conversation certainly took an odd turn, so let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> ah. Sorry about all that. Right, stuff's going on here, so there are more things being uploaded. Oh, I've got new friend things. Lucas, filling up your timeline 24-7. So, I, I don't know what these are. Maybe... Oh, we got Riona too. How do... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something that will be explained later. Right, what else do we got? Let's just click these so they go away. I, th I feel like people who get a slightly frustrated when there's a lot of, you know, alerts in the bottom of corners of screens or whatever. I'm just going to stay here and up front. I'm probably not going to keep on top of all this Tomoda Chill stuff. I'll do my best because I don't like the notifications either, but I feel like there's going to be, there's going to be, oh, still two. There we go. I feel like there's going to be a lot of this stuff going on. Mr. Hyde. In real life, I'm not a, I'm not one really for social media. If anyone's followed me on Twitter, they <laughs> probably realise that already. Um, so yeah, just pre-warning that might that might be a little red thing under the corner of our screen for quite a lot of this playthrough. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't see, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure's over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off forever, no problem. Oh, thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, boring dad. Yeah? Nah, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, boring dad. Pops? Have a safe trip. Just us two again. Well, that was a show and a half. <laughs> No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, boring dad. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. Uh, it's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's just the missus. You know what? I think i better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. <laughs> uh, please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I, I better go, Lou. You take care on closing, boring dad. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. There he goes. Oof, what a day. Ah, a bit of clean up and then... Huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Well, probably Georgie. Better keep it safe over here. Old lighter. It exudes an interesting feel. 
Okay, now let's wrap this up. Bedchamber, a cup for those longing for a deep slumber. I think that's probably a good place to leave this first episode of Coffee Talk. Um, episode two, of course. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I know some people uh, have been asking uh, for me to do more visual novels and stuff on the channel as they enjoy those. So at the moment I've got a couple of long series going on with uh, Everspace 2 and War Tales. Uh, so this is this is definitely a change of pace. And so, so yeah, so we'll keep we'll keep playing this and, and uh, alongside those and uh, get a bit of variety there, which is always nice, isn't it? Uh, so hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. Uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about the game and a uh, little glimpse into these lives? I'm sure these, these stories are going to develop with these characters and we might see new and different characters as well. I've just noticed the meme here on this. Future of dating, how AI may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. That's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, and... Uh, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. That would be great. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time for more Coffee Talk. Bye for now.